RetroArch provides access to an excellent core, Desmu Mi, which just happens to be the best Nintendo DS emulator around. The Desmu Mi core is what we'll be using today in this RetroArch Nintendo DS setup guide. Here are a few things you'll need to make sure you have ready before we begin this guide. Install RetroArch. Have at least one DS game ROM ready to test. These are usually NDS or BIN files. And finally connect a controller to your system. I use the 8-bit Do Pro 2 for most emulation and works really well with RetroArch. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. So the first step is to boot up RetroArch and download the Desmu Mi Core. So once you have it booted up, select Load Core and go to Download a Core. Then scroll down the core downloader list until you get to Nintendo DS Desmu Mi. Select this and the core will begin to download. If RetroArch is already installed on your system, go back to the main menu, scroll down to Online Up Data, and then select Update Core Info Files and Update Databases. This will update all key files and databases in RetroArch, ensuring any chances of issues are minimised. Now we're ready to load a game. That was really easy, wasn't it? Suspiciously so, in fact. So go back to the main menu and select Load Content. Then navigate to where you store your DS ROMs and select the game ROM you wish to play. The game will now boot up and you're ready to play your first DS game in RetroArch. The Desmo Mi Core has plenty of useful settings to help get your DS RetroArch experience refined to your requirements. There are a wealth of options including increasing the internal resolution of emulation, texture scaling, and setting the screen layout for DS Twin screens so you can view both at any time, either vertically or horizontally. There are input options so you can use your mouse to operate the touchscreen. There's even microphone emulation so you can simulate the DS microphone being used with the press of a button, which is really useful in games that require sound input. As an example, we're gonna make a few quick changes so things run smoothly and enhance the way DS games look using RetroArch. Once your game's booted, press F1 to access the quick menu, then go to Core Options, then select Graphics. Here we can access all of the graphics settings for Desmu Mi. First of all, we want to ensure we switch on OpenGL Rasterizer. This will require you to restart RetroArch. So do this and then return to the Core Options graphics menu again. Now we have access to an additional range of features unlocked by enabling the OpenGL Rasterizer. So let's start by increasing the internal resolution, then increasing the multi-sampling AA levels, enable texture smoothing, and increasing texture scaling. Return to the game and you should notice that things look a little less pixelated and grainy compared to before these settings were applied. The Desmu Mi Core has everything you need to make playing Nintendo DS games an absolute pleasure in RetroArch. I hope this guide has been helpful and you're ready to enjoy your DS games. Do explore the channel and howtoretro.com for more RetroArch and emulation guides. Thanks for watching and see you soon.